Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Ruled Waves as Great Britain, episode number 43. So, uh, we're in the middle of this, uh, I, I can't even remember what this was. I guess it was a coastal raid or something, and I was hoping that maybe our big ships would get involved. Um, no such luck, but we do have, what is this, Braveheart? That's an old Comus class, if I'm not mistaken. Archer, Black Adder, all those definitely are Comus class. Commodore, looks like, is also Comus class. So we have a bunch of Comus classes and then a bunch of, what are these destroyers? Oh, the Grenville. It's uh, one of the newer destroyers, if I'm not mistaken. Pratt, is that our newest class? I mean, it's if it's not, it's our, it's just like the newest class. I mean, eight torpedoes, yeah. I think I was going to make an all uh, gunboat DD and that, uh, this is not those. These are not those, but. Um, some good ships. Now, we also have right away, which is nice, uh, a target. So let's just go ahead and do squad max. Let's get our two ships and just get out of here. I don't anticipate this should be a long battle. I don't want it to be. More battle time means more chance for us to be hit by a battle cruiser, which would not be good. But considering the, these are coal burning ships, we don't want to redline them for too long. So let's go over here, take care of this. And that's our second one right there. Very good. Um, I want to actually, I was going to say, prevent torpedo launches. Uh, minesweeper. Okay, so let's go squad max to chase down this minesweeper. She looks like she has kind of an area of operations she wants to operate within. Because uh, she's circling back even towards us, which is suicidal. Not going to be interested in that land feature. And if the minesweeper is smart, she'll take refuge among the protective guns. But it looks like we were able to land a few hits. I'm sure not many will be necessary to sink this ship. And there it is. Okay, let's pull away from that 11 inch coastal battery, which is just no good for us at all. What the hell are our ships doing? I don't know. I don't know what formation this is that they're trying to run. Support line abreast. My goodness. This is not at all how you support. <laughs> I'll show you how to support. All right, yeah, let's just slow down to cruise. Um, people are starting to catch up. I don't know what the problem was there, but it looks like it's sorting itself out gradually. Good, so up to ultra fast and away we go. In fact, we can stealthily sneak by it. Look at it, it even dropped a mine, it looks like for us. We can sneak by our own mine laying submarine up here. And uh, it's a victory. It's really not much of a victory, but a victory nonetheless. It's not going to give us the amount of victory points we need to, you know, make up for the huge deficit that we're in, thanks to that electric power failure. I, I still, still, I still look back on this series. Like when I think about this series, I try to put it in perspective, like um, by comparing it with the other series I've done. I on camera recording and even my own personal playthroughs this is by far the most amount of bad luck i've had in a rule the waves campaign um which i think i'm not being fair about it because yeah a marginal victory <clears throat> i'm not really thinking about all the times we've had really good luck those are not the th kind of things you remember so we're gonna have to refit the screen here since i started the game and since our last the last save was that battle. And this is another unfortunate thing. I, I really hate stopping in term, in battles because I wasn't able to rename the ships. I have my ship naming um, graph out. I got the game up to try to rename before, but then I was like, oh, well, I can't actually rename because uh, we're in a battle, a sea battle, and I, I can't adjust ship names until we get back here. But the good news is None of the new ships which are finishing, these are all re refits anyway, none of the new ships are going to be finishing in this episode, uh, except for Royal Oak. Okay, well, let's just pull up a, a ship name. We only need one, because this is finishing in three months. Looks like the rest are much, much, much longer. I already know one of the hoods is going to be the Lightning, so I could do that. The Inflexible... 
Yeah, let's just rename this one the Lightning Captain Dragon at the helm. Okay, good. And the Royal Oak, let's just pull one one name. This hopefully won't take too long, so I'll just do it real fast. Uh, the <laughs> no, no, Battle Cruiser, Battle Cruiser. Uh, the Dreadnought, Artemis Fowl, Captain Fowl. So that's kind of funny. We never had a Dreadnought. But there it is, the Dreadnought. <laughs> a little bit late to the party, considering all of our ships should be Dreadnought, but finally we got that one in. Okay, very good. So I'll, I'll do the rest of the ship naming off camera, assuming I don't once again get stuck with another uh, another uh, fleet battle at the very, very end of this episode. Hopefully not. Um, now, the next thing is, I know that, okay, so people are kind of like giving me the pass that I'm building all these crazy ships. Most of them probably won't even see action by the time the game ends. I'm actually thinking of doing like a, a stream where I just cheese that I play as, I'm not sure I'll play as Great Britain, but I play as somebody and I just cheese the hell out of the game with this. And then I, I want to send that to the developers and ask them to fix this bug because it is game breaking. I mean, if you want to accelerate ships, which is like, I've had definitely reasonable points in time when I wanted to do that. It eliminates the capability to accelerate your shipbuilding. Because if you do, you're, you're, you're cheating. No, it's just, that's just not good. So, hopefully this can just get patched with another hot patch. I, I just imagine it's not that difficult to fix. It might be hard to fa find, but there's just some contribution to... Ex I mean, it's not even that huge of a code you have to search for. It's just anything inside the accelerated um, shipbuilding code. You have to look and find how it's affecting the budget. Something is not being added or subtracted correctly. Okay, that said, let's see. Uh, yeah, so people are giving me the pass on this anyway. I, it's, I mean, I am pretty much exploiting the game. I would say this is pure exploitation. Uh, it's not cheating because I'm not... I'm not doing something outside of the game parameters. That would be a, if I just like somehow edited my budget or something. But uh, we're definitely doing something which is not within the game's desired operating parameters. And that is what I consider an exploit. Something the game designers did not intend, which we're taking advantage of. Okay, enough talk about all that. Let's just actually get into another battle. Okay, good. We've taken control. Nova Scotia, the last remaining place we have and this is why I really want to just keep all these ships being built let's just build a, a you know a million more oh unrest is very high let's do this Well, ship morale dropping is not good. Because uh, we're at the point, I think 12 or so is where I, I, I think I've seen people lose the game entirely. Um, we don't have any forces in the area. Of course we're going to decline. Strange. Raid. No, no, no. This was what I did last time and it didn't work out. Okay, well that's a bummer. How do we fix this problem? Well... We're not being blockaded, so that's one way we can fix it, which is good. Um, we lack appropriate foreign tonnage. That is easy to resolve. Get all the Glinder classes to foreign stations. We already have done our duty in Southeast Asia anyway, right? We no longer need those points in Southeast Asia because we've taken control of the province we wanted. Yeah, and this is what I want to do. I want to build more ships. More, 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 more. Because if if I happen to kind of like maybe not fight battles, because those take a whole episode, but otherwise without battles you can go through like, you know, a month every minute or so. Um, we can actually push on to like another battle or continue this one for a long time, a very protracted engagement with the United States, and hopefully just win back all of our territory by strategic battleships. So that's my idea now, is just to go for like 12 of these. Um, and this will also be a nice way to give anybody who wanted a Dreadnought, a Dreadnought by the time the game ends. So let's just uh, 
keep cheese in the system for all it's worth. Good, not bad at all. I'm pretty happy about this. So we're just gonna get more of these Glinder classes because even if they all finish, presumably we'll have enough budget. <laughs> That's a funny thing. <laughs> I just thought about this and that's why I'm laughing. If we end up having a problem with maintenance, all we need to do is build more ships and scrap some of the old ones because building ships makes us money. <laughs> so you can really cheese the system like horribly. Uh, anyway, let's see if our, maybe our Victoria, we need to send somebody over to the East Coast, right? And I think that when we're not being blockaded, it might be the best, this might be the opportunity, yeah, it is the Grenville. We do want some more Grenville class too. I mean, now that we have infinite ships in theory, let's just get a ton of everything. Just build tons of Grenvilles. We can actually get these um, constructed in time. They're only 10 months and you know, maybe only nine months if we, you know what, this is just gonna be ridiculous. Oh, uh, what the heck? Is that gonna reset every, my goodness. Uh, okay, let's sort by cost. Can we do it this way? There we go, okay. So, accelerate, accelerate. This might take too long, huh? Okay, I need to do this off camera. We can suffer a little bit of negative budget. Oh, I'm so close. So in nine more months, we'll have a huge, massive amount of destroyers, which is which is great, which is great. We've already built like a ton of Canada class light cruisers anyway. So we don't really need more of those. And I, I think nine months is certainly well within the um, operating time of a war. As long, if France falls though, I think that the United States also ends their war with us. We may choose to do something crazy like uh, continue war or try to go to war with the United States just one more time for fun. Obviously, we're, we're very close to the end of this uh, series. So let's put a bunch of these on foreign stations because they're useless ships to me anyway. No offense, Comus class, but you've been around for 30 years now. It's uh, You're well beyond your expected service um, time frame. So. Okay, well, we solved a bunch of problems. I don't know... Let's, you know what, stick a bunch of the battle cruisers. We've had problems with that before, but it's a daring move if we put some of our... No, yeah, we don't have any battle cruisers available. Okay, let's just grab a bunch of these Kanda classes who are poor, but let's just put them to raider mode. You can... Ah, no, Guantanamo Bay. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good. Yes, keep doing that. No! Wow. Well, I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know what we could have done. You know, this seems to be a, a very poor idea by France rename multiple ships the same thing. Anyway, this is what happens when unrest gets too high. And I don't know what was causing the unrest because we weren't even being blockaded in the end. I think it was just that um, our workers would be infected by the, the revolutionary we sent loose. So that backfired. And uh, really, sadly enough, that is probably going to be the end of this series because we will take just massive, massive, rep like, Obviously, they just stole all of our good ships. Now, the one thing I could consider doing, of course, is still, again, cheesing the system, waiting for all these ships, because they just took my ships, too. <laughs> you know, we don't have any Victorias left. All we have is a few Glinder classes. Um, hmm. Unrest is still, like, so high. I don't know how to even fix that. With all the money, I mean, another thing which doesn't take very much money is building lots of fortifications. So let's get some... Okay, maintenance is 105. It's actually significant. Ah, okay. Let's get these. Let's get four of them. Tally-ho. More forts. Where else do we want them? Because we need to protect our holdings. 
So let's just build a bunch of forts here. Improve the base, build fort. Um, yes, build 10 12 inch forts. And you know what? Uh, we need some six inch ones to go along with that. Because why not? I mean, th this is, we're really falling off the deep end going a little bit absurd, but I, I'm okay with that. Like if you guys are okay to tolerate it just for like maybe an episode or two. Uh, this is the end of the series and it's kind of a fun time to experiment without ruining the rest of the game because there is no rest of the game, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll just build a ton of forts to hopefully try to keep these uh, holdings now. They did not get Nova Scotia, so we'll build every living fort we can over there as well. Build more as well. Another 10. 10 and 10, I think that's just a really impressive number if you ask me. Okay, improve our... Well, Nova Scotia barely has anything, but that's fine. Um, where else are we worried about? Here? Yes. We're worried about here as well. Six. Very good. Improve the base. We have the money to do it. Uh, I don't need to worry about Southeast Asia. <laughs> we own all of it. Except for one little French holding, which uh, we weren't able to sneak away with. But thank goodness, in this last war, we were able to hold on to all of our holdings against the United States. So they weren't able... I mean... I actually did not did not look. What did we lose in terms of reparations? Did we lose anything? Territory? Okay, we didn't lose anything in these, I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. Did we lose Zanzibar? Zanzibar is obviously not typically American. But I don't know if it's British either. Yeah, we might, we, well, Yemen's not, yeah, I think we lost, might have lost something to the United States, which is just, you know, go, you know, the same as always. Actually, I'm pretty happy about this. <laughs> it gives the United States someplace else to defend. Okay, so let's uh, continue our craziness. Just build tons of things for the last upcoming war. Now that it's all free, we're, <laughs> it's free, we'll pretend that a new king Beyond King George the Fifth has come up, and his uh, his only mission is to force subjugation of um, the American peoples due to naval supremacy. That's what we'll hope. Let's look at diplomacy. Oh, okay, so we have the hood class. Um, let's get a bunch of these as well, because we have plenty of people asking for battle cruisers, and just make sure that they're being accelerated. Uh, probably by build cost, it'd be easy to find them. Okay. Uh, anybody not being accelerated here? I think just the minesweepers, that's fine. We actually do want to build some more minesweepers as well. Why not? Actually, we'll wait because we're going to refit the ones that are coming out now. Uh, it's been five years, it's always good to do it. They Around eight years, they start losing. We're, our monthly balance is just ridiculous, but let's get even more Glinder classes. That's eight more, let's say. And there we go. Ta-da! Okay, so our monthly balance is actually uh, half of our total funds, negative. How does it work? I'm seeing no effect at all. Lots of steel shortages, etc. Okay, fine. Well, just keep pushing. Good, do it. Take my money. I'm just very hopeful that that... I don't think that that does anything, but it would be really nice if there was some kind of hidden, hidden modifier where that actually... Wait, am I... Uh... Not design, not design, not design. Build. Yeah, 1929. So we have a bunch of these that are all old. So let's just put all these Comus class on foreign stations. Um, good luck. I'll just, I think that they'll just be retired after this as soon as I get the Glinders out. Because they are pretty old. Now let's rebuild these all to the 1929. 
Okay, we still need 33,000 worth of foreign stations. Um, the Achilles class, I guess? Yeah, I mean, what other choice do we have? <laughs> okay. How many of these do we need? Five. Five should do it. Yeah, we really want that unrest to drop. <coughs> Excuse me. Lots of steel shortages. I wonder if that's actually due to the number of ships we're trying to build. It would make sense. I, I didn't know that that was modeled in, but that makes sense. Yeah, we probably do want at least one more. Oh, good. So these are finishing. Yay. Good. Um, no. We don't need money. Do we need more forts? I, I mean... Part of me says just build forts everywhere, but we have them all in the places which matter the most. The places I don't need to protect as much, those are the places where I think we need to build them. So we probably don't need as many here, just six and uh, eight maybe. Good. Um, I think I'm gonna leave a good defense here. There's too many places for me to defend anyway. Yeah, basically that's what I'm going to do. If it's a place where it's easy to defend, okay, there's only two places we need to build here, so... Uh, you know what, just build two here and two here. That's not really significant. I like it, though. I've always been a turtley type player, so actually building defensive stuff makes a it makes me happy. It's the way I prefer to play. It's probably the only places we need to really improve, though. Yeah. Okay. So, next turn. Yeah. We'll take... Oh, finally above water tubes. That's funny. That's really funny. That just... I can't believe it took to 1931. Uh, I'm gonna blame my luck with that. Okay, better quality 15-inch guns. That's nice. Um, well, let's keep going. No, we're not selling anything to anybody anymore. Money's not a concern. Yes, we need that technology. Wow, it took us this long to get to quadruple tubes. Crazy. And I need to see, what was that in? Quadruple. Okay, light forces and torpedo warfare is both of those. That's on high. What the, the, the hell? I wonder why that took so long. It's crazy. All right, got a, quite a few things to click through here. Good. Take that, America. Just you try to think of invading now. Um, competition, sure. Doesn't matter. Trading, good, those are the two I prefer. Hmm, let's build some more subs. I don't know what we're at right now, but we're not at enough. We need to win the next war convincingly. This is how we're gonna do it. So basically, this is kind of like my way of uh, getting revenge on the game for trolling me this whole series. We're just gonna go crazy and hopefully, I'm gonna, I will, honest to goodness, I will fake tensions with the United States if they don't go up manually. We don't need intel with anybody anymore, just stay at low. I don't want to raise any tensions, just with the United States. We're still getting construction shortages? Yeah. What, are we like making any progress? No. No, the answer is actually no, we're not making any progress. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm going to call this video to a close here. 
I might come on for another episode. This probably is the end, so it, turn, it does turn out the game models how much steel you have somehow. I've never seen this um, mechanic in play before, so this is something I have to say that's totally, completely new to me. I wonder if we can scrap our old ships for for steel. And another interesting thing is why are the refits also being slowed because of steel? Like these Ajax refits, these Fortune refits should, let's see, 4334684. Let's take a look and see if they move at all. I'm willing to scrap those Comus class that we can use those as steel, perhaps, but I'm not sure the game mechanic works that way. I have no idea. It's the first time I've ever experienced this. Um, yeah, well, I would absolutely don't mind going to war with France. They're a backup option. Okay, let's see. It was four, three, three, four, three. Yeah, this was eight, I think. So some of them moved forward, but some of them are moving backwards. This is now 30 instead of, and this is 29. Yeah, we're going backwards with some of these. Well, yeah, that probably means we're going to call this series to a close. So I might pop in with another one. Uh, make sure to watch the next episode because that's going to be where I'll probably post the... Um, the list, ship list for the new episode. Um, but I, I can't say, I can't promise anything super entertaining if you want to just pop in the next video for the next, first five minutes. Otherwise, if I get enough feedback that we should try to somehow make this work. Okay, well, let, let me see. First of all, does scrapping every single Comus class, which is going to be a disaster in terms of foreign station, does it actually help us? Well, okay, let's first go a couple more months to see if we can get this unrest down a little bit because the lack of foreign station will probably increase that uh, right 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 whatever what this is not a new ship <laughs> okay um no, this is not dropping either steel shortages just across the board okay now let's do this this is probably gonna hurt a lot but let's scrap all these Kingfisher, I don't really feel like we should scrap. It's too good of a ship. And this is this is a pretty darn good ship too. I think let's yeah. This has a slope deck, which is good. It's not all or nothing armor, but this is technically better armor. I think slightly more protection, just a lot more weight. It's a good ship. I'm not going to scrap this one. Oh, it is coal burning. I mean, we would like light cruisers that are not. But this is also my entire <laughs> Montanja. Okay, yes. Wait, is that all that happens? My prestige drops for foreign stations? No increase in unrest? Okay, I I feel like I don't understand this game. Which is so weird. After playing it for so long, you know, you just don't... I've seen unrest go up, and I was talking about this with somebody, I think it was not in this series a long time ago, about how um, even if you have people on foreign stations, if they're not actually in the right place, sometimes that increases unrest. Who knows? This unrest mechanic is... It's a mystery to me still, which I'm kind, of, I'm kind of disappointed to say that considering I've played hundreds of hours of this game and to have things which are so nebulous, it doesn't really, I don't think it speaks well to a game design. There's only one person who does this game though, so it's not, not like I want to blame. And it doesn't look like that really helped. Like, let's go back down here. Yeah, we had three, four, three, five. Oh, I mean, this is up to nine, so... I feel like it's just, it's a it's a random walk at this point. It goes left, it goes right, it averages out back to the same number. <laughs> so yeah, okay, we'll put a we'll put a cut in here. Um, I will come back. Maybe we'll do a recap of the of the series. But it looks like this is going to be the end of the game. The the ultimate troll was even when I tried to troll the game back, it still trolled me, and we couldn't actually produce ships. So I mean, another thing I could do is cancel a bunch of ships until we have enough wiggle room. What if I cancel all these? Cancel these.
It's only canceling them one at a time. <laughs> Hello, the illustrious is here. I'm selecting the camper down up to the Hannibal and scrap and it's only the Hannibal. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna do this. All right, so feel free to leave your opinions or comments in the in the um, comment section, of course, as always. And probably, okay, 95% chance that this series comes to an end in the next video, which is fine, it's been 43, 44 episodes or so. And that's good, we wanna get into the Italian one, which will be a lot more fun, and I can't wait to stop playing Great Britain because it has been like the biggest pain in my butt. <laughs> I guess the proper expression is a pain in my butt. No, a pain in the butt. That's the expression. Thank you. All right, well, I'm going to sign off here before I rabble on any longer. Um, thanks for watching, though. Um, interesting series. Very interesting. I'll try to collect my thoughts and put them in some kind of eloquent form for the next episode. And also bring up, you know, let's get Josh Street's drawings. I'll try to put those on the screen briefly while I'm talking. Um, lightning's ship analysis, uh, any other stuff that I have, um, incompetent idiot, incompetent idiot did those world conquest things. I think that last one we, that he's done, we haven't improved upon. So maybe I won't show another one. <laughs> it only gets worse, right? So anyways, thanks for watching and until the next episode, take care.